Do you know what common diseases affect sheep and how to prevent them? Today we're going to delve into this very topic, so stick around and you might learn something new. Sheep, like all animals, are prone to a variety of diseases. As a sheep owner, it's important to recognize these diseases and understand how to prevent them. Firstly, we have the scab, a highly contagious skin disease caused by mites. It's characterized by intense itching, loss of wool, and thickened and crusty skin. The best way to prevent scab is to maintain good biosecurity, promptly treat any infected sheep, and avoid introducing new sheep directly into your flock without a quarantine period. Next on the list is foot rot, a bacterial infection that causes lameness and poor weight gain. It's spread through direct contact and by contaminated environments. Prevention involves regular foot inspections and treatment of any signs of infection, as well as maintaining clean and dry living conditions for your sheep. Now let's talk about Caseus lymphadenitis, or CL. This is a chronic bacterial infection that causes abscesses in lymph nodes. The bacteria can survive in the environment for long periods of time, making it a difficult disease to control. Vaccination and culling infected animals are the most effective prevention methods. Another common sheep disease is ovine progressive pneumonia, or OPP. This viral disease affects the lungs, causing difficulty in breathing and weight loss. There's no cure for OPP, but it can be prevented by testing and removing infected animals from the flock. Lastly, we have scrapie, a fatal degenerative disease affecting the central nervous system. Like OPP, there's no cure for scrapie. Prevention involves genetic testing and breeding for resistance, as well as strict biosecurity measures. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By understanding these diseases and their prevention methods, you can ensure a healthy and productive flock. So, there you have it. A rundown of common sheep diseases and how to prevent them. We hope this has been informative and useful. If you have any questions about animal health, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section below. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, show your support by subscribing to our channel, sharing this video with others and giving it a thumbs up. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy and safe everyone.